Right guys, so we'll run you through how we bead the corners when we re-skim in. Get your tape measure and you want to go from your skirting um, to your seaming line. But give yourself a little bit of tolerance. Um, don't go really tight so you've got to wedge the bead in. Give yourself a couple of mils. So we'll go at 22.85 there. You'll transfer that measurement onto your bead. We use the Irwin tin snips, the decent pair of snips. Don't buy cheap tin snips, uh, they'll only let you down. So what did we say the size was, Kurt? Uh, 22. 22.85. Yep, 22.85. So bring, zoom in, mate, and we'll show them how we, how we do this. Right, so we've got 22.85. Use your thumbnail just to mark out where you cut in and then just do one straight cut there okay we'll track your tape spin it round we'll chop the other side and then the bead will just come away okay and then we we'll use the arrow rechargeable um, staplers so I've got a couple of mil at the top and I've got a couple of mil at the bottom not much once it's all skimmed and painted um, you won't see that tiny gap, but it just allows for tiny movements. Um, if you've got a stud wall like this, um, if there are tiny movements, if, if your bead's really tight to the ceiling and the skirting, there's risk that it, it could pop. They end up with a horrible crack running down the corner of the bead. We always tape them with scrim, but again, use, use that tolerance, a couple of mil each end, and then you literally just roll them in. So you want, you want a staple around every sort of eight inches. Just zoom in here, cut. That'll go straight in. Another tool that you've probably seen us use on the YouTube bits, fixing beads, is the Von Aus um, Brad Nailer. This one here, we bring this one out um, if you struggle to get a fix in with, with the arrow, which nine times out of ten this, this will do the job, unless you've got things like rendered corners, um, in which case we'll bring out the, the brad nailer. This fires um, little 30 mil brads. So I've shown this on a previous vid. Uh, but just to, just to show you this, sometimes with the arrow, it, it, they have gone in, but on the odd one, if I'll find where it is, see there. See there, look, instead of it firing through, it's just um, crimped the staple instead and it's just crushed the staple. The bead's still fixed, but um, sometimes it just doesn't got enough power to go through the new bead and then through the existing bead, which is behind here. And instead of firing through both skins, it'll just um, bend. So sometimes we'll bring out the Von Haus Brad Nailer and I'll just demonstrate the power of this one. Hopefully it's, re hopefully it's charged up enough. Okay, and that's, you can see there it's fired straight through with no dramas at all. Put a few in to show you, just to demonstrate. Okay, so it's fired straight through the new bead, through the existing bead, with no, no worries at all. They are, they're also good, as I say, if you've got rendered corners or corners that are quite solid, you've got a sand and cement mix. Um, you can fire these 30 mil brads straight through and you'll get a decent anchor. Another new product that's recently emerged is the bead fix tape, which if you jump onto Trial Talk, Plasters Help Group, our Facebook group, um, you'll see some ads on there for a product called Bead Fix. We're going to actually review Bead Fix over the next couple of weeks when I get an opportunity and we're going to test it out. It's got positive feedback. Um, so basically, instead of using staples or pins or sticking your beads, this stuff comes in, in a roll of tape and you, you rip a piece off um, and stick them on. Um, looks like quite a, a speedy system. Looks like a decent product if you're stuck and you need to get your bead on fast onto some rendered corners or concrete corners. Um, again, we'll try that out as soon as we get an opportunity over the next week or two and we'll let you know our thoughts on it. We're doing a bit now, so I thought 
We'll just shoot a quick vid for you on this bead fix tape. So we're using it where we're struggling to get a staple in um, or the nailer, as you know, sometimes we'll use the 30 mil brad nails, but these corners um, are too strong for that. The mix sand and cement corners are too solid. So even for the brad nailer. So um, what we find is if we glue it and allow that glue to completely dry and then just literally stick them on. It's really fast, isn't it, Matt? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's much better than the, than the pins that don't go in the wall. As long as the glue's dry, sticks on. It's got really quite, well. it's quite sticky stuff, isn't it? And it's fast. It's really good, the LED It's really... Oh, it's Almost like gaffer tape type stuff. Yeah, it is really strong. So, yeah. Problematic corners where um, you struggle to get a fix and then get yourself some of this bead fix tape. Decent stuff. Have a good one.